dream of being off-grid is completely possible. The technology is there. There's uh, uh, people like ourselves who can make it happen. And you can have all the creature comforts that you could possibly want in your home and be off-grid and create all your own energy. Vern Sherwood and his team at XS Energy have been making homeowners dreams of energy independence a reality since 1985. They're running their homes, uh, many of them completely off-grid, and uh, many of them are, are making more energy than they thought. From off-grid yurts in the wilderness to million-dollar country estates, XS Energy has the hands-on experience. We install solar panels on a pole, we can install solar panels on your roof, we can install a wind turbine on a pole in your yard or near your property, uh, and then we put batteries in your basement or in your garage, we put a DC to AC inverter, and that creates alternative energy for your home. Renewable energy has taken center stage ever since the power generation marketplace was open to competition in Ontario. This is the Melanchthon Wind Farm near Shelburne. Canadian Hydro Developers has built more than 45 turbines here. Another 88 are on the way. These turbines currently generate 65 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to power 20,000 homes. Ontario Power Generation is currently paying 11 cents per kilowatt hour for wind energy and more than 40 cents per kilowatt for solar. Now even small producers can harness the wind or the sun and get cash value for the energy produced through net metering or standard offer contracts with Ontario Power Generation. This is the Zimmerman residence in Loretto, Ontario. This two kilowatt array produces all the energy for the farm and runs the meter backwards. Hello, this is telling what the house is using right now. We're using five amps. We go over here. Making Excess Energy helped Paul Barker deliver a knockout punch to the local utility company. This was the first grid feed in the city of Toronto. The idea is that uh, we're blackout proof now. I don't need to worry about my wife or children or, you know, when I'm at work and the power goes out, our house is fine, things like that. You know, it's, uh, I don't mean to be smug about it, but people spend more money on stupid <laughs> Nick Theory is also generating his own electricity in downtown Toronto and leading the way. Well, I'm always an early adapter. I just wanted to do it. I think that in the long term there's going to be trouble with the supply of power. And so I'm trying to get ahead of that little curve. Whether this is a solution, I don't know. I mean, it's trouble free as far as I can see. This is the Marcos residence near Orangeville. A 3.2 kilowatt turbine and these solar arrays supply all the energy needs for the eight people living in the 3,000 square foot off-grid home. Bert Green and his wife live off-grid on their farm near Arthur using this turbine. Oh, any power you need. Gas, gas pumps and uh, lights and water pump. And, you know, that's all. All you need in a, you know, a house, to live in a house and have a shop. <laughs> and here's another excess energy insulation near Wyerton. Charlie Gaylor's top priority is energy independence. I'm from Texas. We invented independence. Charlie's system includes a 3.2 kilowatt turbine and two PV arrays mounted on a 30 meter freestanding tower. This is the power management system in the corner of the basement. Okay, so this is the solar charge controller. This is the disconnect for the charge controller and the disconnect for the battery system. This is a 48 volt, 500 amp battery. Sealed, no maintenance, no gassing, no corrosion. This is the DC to AC inverters. This converts the battery voltage, the wind turbine voltage, and the solar voltage to alternating current to run your house. That's the bypass switch. So if anything ever goes wrong, you can bypass these inverters and still run your house. These are the grid tie interface units that uh, interface the power made by the inverters with the grid. And these are uh, disconnect switches for the wind turbine, a brake for the wind turbine to brake it in bad weather, brake as in stopping. And then this is the dump load, so if the batteries are full charge and the grid's off and you're making more power than you need, it'll go to the dump load. 
uh, it's just there and it works and we don't care if the power goes out except our neighbors show up and want things like hot food, and coffee, a shower. And you can provide. Unfortunately. Excess energy can also help you capture solar thermal energy. This Apricus installation supplies 80% of the domestic hot water for this hunt camp in northern Ontario. Excess Energy, your renewable energy supplier since 1985. Grid inner tie, residential and commercial. Battery backups, design and service.